Babylon is a symbol for the wrong kind of kingdom, the kind of kingdom that we should never seek to promote or build. In scripture, there are many ancient kingdoms that represent the antithesis to God's kingdom and culture. Three of these anti-God kingdoms, which we will address in the coming weeks, are Babylon, Egypt, and Sodom and Gomorrah. Over the next few days, we will tackle the spiritual significance of Babylon. The spirit of Babylon is a theme that appears throughout the entirety of scripture. Its story begins in Genesis 11, where we meet the people of Babel. It continues on through the conquest of Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel, and it lasts all the way into Revelation, where an angel of the Lord finally declares the demise of the great city of Babylon. As we read about Babylon, we find a few key characteristics that we as a church in this free nation must avoid. These characteristics and the order that we will address them are pride, idolatry, materialism, and immorality. As we dive into the significance of the spirit of Babylon over the next few days, it is vital that we repeat the prophetic words in Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Revelation. And those words are, Babylon is fallen, the great city is fallen. In the name of Jesus, may the spirit of Babylon finally fall. But shaking this kingdom begins with a heart of worship, a heart that is willing to activate its faith and impact this culture in the next generation.